Hi guys. In this video, we're going to be making a quick loom that we can connect into a multimeter, such as this, to calibrate our currents on our flight controllers. So we're going to use two XT60s and two, I believe they're four mil banana plugs. So they fit nicely into the multimeter ideal solution. So let me just double check that for you. Yeah, four, four millimeters. So the first thing we're going to do is solder up the negative because that the basic schematics, if you like, I'll just draw it out on the table. So we have our two plugs. Negative wire goes uh, straight between the two negative terminals. And then each of the positives will go to a bullet connector. So it effectively the positive line is broken and that goes in between the amps and the common on the multimeter. So I'm going to use about about 45 centimeter long piece of negative so we can get this nice and long. And I'm going to make the positives slightly longer so we can get those into the um, into the multimeter with no issues. All right, so actually, always connect them together. Stay, keeps them when they when they heat up. It this extra insulation stops them moving about so much. So the iron's heating up. Nearly spilled tea everywhere, which is brilliant. So just chop a little bit of the ends off. Actually, what I'll do before I chop the other end off is size up the heat shrink. I'll do it nicely. Try and tint this up on camera. I mean, I'm assuming that a lot of people know how to solder anyway. If you don't, you really need to learn it for this hobby. really badly done. It's awkward to do it like this. That's better. Still one of the worst XD60s I've ever sold it up, but it's on there. side helping hands are good but these ones really aren't should really get some of those metal ones a 
that's better. All right, so we've got our two negative wires soldered on. So what I'm going to do now is let that cool down for a bit and we'll work on the bullet connectors. So I'll get one of those in there ready. And I'm using a 12 AWG gauge wire for this. Uh, just because I haven't got anything thicker, but it's, that should be fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make each one of these 25, which will give us 50 overall. I'll make them 30. How much cable have I got? Yeah, plenty. Sorry, get on camera. one down. <clears throat> Let's get this in here. So that's one connection. Again, we'll let that cool down. Cut another. Thirty centimeters. So there we have our bullet connectors soldered on. And what I can do, get the heat shrink in place. Need to do the heat shrink for these now. Perfect. Just going to get it on there so that we don't forget to put it on there and I'll get it all soldered up and shrink it all together. Right, so our plug is now done. I'm going to leave it in there to cool down for a second. And while I do that, I'm going to get my heat gun. So 
So get these shrink down on the bullets. It doesn't matter if you go over, you can always trim the excess off um, with a scalpel. So, how's, how's this doing? It's not so bad. And there's our finished product. So what we do, we take our plane, one end goes in the plane, don't actually think there's any batteries in this, but I can show you anyway. So then we take the one that goes to the plane in the common, one that comes from the battery in the amps. Then you plug your battery in, you set this to amps, and that's it. Then you get an amp reading of how much currently the model's drawing. And what I'll be doing is a follow-up video uh, in a short while, which will go through setting up the current sensor on these flight controllers using the multimeter and INAV. So stay tuned for that one. See you soon. Bye.